can the body cleanse itself of the PM 2.5 that had already been absorbed into the bloodstream? And if not, what are the ill effects on the body? Um, I, I would think that the body is not able to clean uh, the PM 2.5 that is uh, absorbed, in a way absorbed because it goes to the bloodstream uh, and it goes to uh, basically anywhere in the body once it's, it's in the bloodstream. So uh, it will be very difficult for the body to cleanse itself uh, once it does that. Uh, what, can, what we can do uh, to pre uh, talk about prevention, basically that's, that's about it. Um, and to prevent ourselves, uh, I think generally following the advisory that's now coming up from um, um, the government would be generally uh, useful for the population. PM 2.5, uh, uh, our respiratory system uh, is capable to retain large particles. PM 10 and in our nose and maybe in, uh, in our throat. But PM 2.5, they go to the deepest sections of our lungs. And depending on their physical and chemical characteristics, they can spread from there through our body by the bloodstream. Is there no way our body will self-remove the PM 2.5 particles? Will it always be in our body? I mean, gen generally speaking, I, I don't know of any way that the body can cleanse itself from the tiny, fine particles that are already in there. It has already, uh, once it's in there, it would have caused some kind of inflammation because it is uh, irritant to the blood vessels. Um, to the lungs, uh, that inflammation would have taken place once the fine particles get into the body. So we can talk about ways to detoxify ourselves of these toxins, but I think none is proven effective. None of the so-called uh, detoxification um, processes that you have uh, eating certain fruits, for instance, uh, antioxidants, and uh, etc., none would be uh, able to be proven effective, not yet. Mm -hmm.